Do you know why people are hating? Let me tell you why. Because they see a light embedded in you that you haven't realized that you carry yet. They see the qualities and the skill set that you possess to do what you need to get done. They know if you realize how impactful you can be, you're going to leave them behind. And they're not going to be able to catch up to you ever. When they see a winner, when they see a gift, when they see favor on your life, honey, let me tell you, they are not going to want you to recognize what you possess. It's like holding a bag of money. But you know the bag is heavy and you don't know how much money is in there. But you know it's a bag full of money. See, what you carry is great. But you don't see it and you don't know it yet. But the people around you, your families, your friends, maybe somebody you're dating or even somebody you married to. See this light that you possess, but it's buried so deep down within you and they don't want you to recognize that it exists. So they keep doing the things that they do to distract you, to deter you, to make you feel less than, to make you feel like you're not worthy, make you feel like you have no value and your skill set is not up to par. Hmm. That's what they do because they hate me. But you have to say to yourself and you have to look within yourself and see that you possess some greatness. But you know what? You will never get to your destination if you've never made that one step. And if you don't believe it, you don't recognize, ask God to show it to you. He'll show it to you. But if you clear the camp of naysayers, if you clear your camp of haters, then you can blossom and you can bloom. Stop holding yourself back. So what? You made some mistakes. So what? You missed the deadline. So what? You don't have the financial means right now. That don't mean you can't prepare. That don't mean you can't plan. That don't mean you can't make an effort. God said you make the one step. I'll make the two. We all made mistakes in our lives. We've all made wrong terms. We've all made bad decisions. We've all hang out with the wrong person. But at some point in your life, you have to realize and recognize what you need to do for you. This ain't about nobody else. This is a self journey. Let me say it again. It's a self journey. Do you hear what I'm saying? It's a self journey. So you need to dust off the books. You need to dust off the business plan. You need to dust off your ideals. You need to clear your mind and refocus and regroup and get it done. Ain't no sense you sitting here being laxy daisy. Ain't no sense you downing yourself. Ain't no sense you listen to what nobody say. You are a winner. But you can only win when you make the effort. You can only win when you do the things you need to do to prepare for success. That's the only way you can win. Winners can't win sitting in the same seat and never moving anywhere. Winners can't win walking in reverse. Winners can't win beating themselves with blame and guilt. You can't win. Winners can't win living on doubt and fear. Winners can't win. But the winners that's winning have fought through some things, have overcame some hurdles, have let some people go, have detoured around some people just to get to their destination. What are you waiting on? What are you going to do? This is, there's no better time than now. There's no better time than now. So forget about the mistake. Forget about the people who walked out your life. Forget about the people who said they love you and they didn't really love you. Forget about the people who said they cared about you and they really didn't care. Forget about people who said they was going to help you and they did not help you. Forget about people who don't see your worth, don't see your value, who didn't answer your call, who didn't answer your text message. God got a ram in the bush. But you got to get to the bush so you can know if the ram is in there or not. But if you don't make the steps to get to the bush, you'll never know if the ram is in there or not. This is your opportunity. This is your PSA to get done what you need to get done. And you got to believe without any doubt in your mind that you are a winner. You hear what I'm saying? Say it with me. I am a winner. Say it again. I am a winner. Say it again. I am a winner. Now try this out. I can do this. And then turn around and say, I got this. Say, I'm capable of this. 
with God's help. You hear what I'm saying? No, you are a winner, but you got to believe it. What we saying? You a winner, right? All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it.